Hi, my name is Lamanda Moore Rodriguez. I am a specialist in the Department of Diversity, Equity, and Poverty Programs. Welcome to Adolescent Advocates Short Bios that help children see how they can be a part of fighting for racial equity. Today we'll discuss the Birmingham Children's Crusade of 1963. The Birmingham Children's Crusade of 1963 is a pivotal event of the civil rights movement that opened the eyes of the nation through the courageous activism of its youngest citizens. Thousands of young people participated in a series of nonviolent demonstrations known as the Children's Crusade in Birmingham, Alabama during the first week of May in 1963. Civil rights leaders in the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and other civil rights groups developed a plan to desegregate Birmingham, Alabama, a city notorious for its discriminatory practices in employment and public life. Segregation persisted throughout the city and black people were only allowed to go many places like the fairgrounds, for example, on colored days. The goal of the plan was to use tactics of nonviolent protest to provoke Birmingham civic and business leaders to agree to desegregate. For many African-American children in Birmingham, the civil rights movement was already a part of their lives. They had witnessed their parents' involvement through mass meetings organized at churches like the 16th Street Baptist Church. While many parents and civil rights leaders were cautious about involving young people in the protests, it turned out that the brave actions of these these children helped make lasting change in Birmingham at a key turning point in the movement. Thousands of children were trained in the tactics of nonviolence, and on May 2nd, they left the 16th Street Baptist Church in groups heading throughout the city to protest segregation peacefully. One of their goals was to talk to the mayor of Birmingham about segregation in their city. They were not met with a peaceful response. On the first day of the protest, hundreds of children were arrested. By the second day, Commissioner of Public Safety Bull Connor ordered police to spray the children with powerful water hoses, hit them with batons, and threaten them with police dogs. Despite this harsh treatment, children continued to participate in the demonstrations over the next few days. Businesses in downtown Birmingham were feeling the pressure and on May 5th, protesters marched to the city jail where many of the young people were still being held. They sang protest songs and continued their tactics of nonviolence demonstration. Finally, local officials agreed to meet with the civil rights leaders and hash out a plan to end protests. On May 10th, an agreement had been reached. City leaders agreed to desegregate business and free all who had been jailed during the demonstrations. The Children's Crusade marked a significant victory in Birmingham. The city was in the world spotlight and local officials knew that they could no longer ignore the civil rights movement. And thousands of children, some of them as young as seven or eight years old, had kept the momentum of the struggle going in its most pivotal hour. The fight for civil rights didn't just include adults. So always remember your voice has the power to become the change.